Hi friends, it's Heather and I thought I'd show you today how to include a link within your post and blogger. Um, so I'm going to start out with, in my dashboard here and I'm going to go to the blog that I want to use and hit new post. Just left click on that. First of all, i got to get this cute little bird out of the way, just like always. <laughs> so I'm just going to give him a few spaces and enter him here. And I'm going to come back up here and go to the middle and choose large text. And there we go. Choose Heather. Um, hello, friends. And welcome to my blog. And of course, this is not in large text because I can hardly see it. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Today I created a digital collage um, for my really good friend of our I. Indy, spell that wrong. Oops. Mary Beth. We have been painting friends for ever. Alright, so I started out with some images from I'm going to put in a link. So I'm going to hit this insert link. Now I'm going to go to my Gecko Gals because that's where, oops, not this one, this one. Their website. This is where you can get some really awesome um, different ephemera uh, kits. They have really cute images. So I'm going to left click on this to highlight it blue, right click to copy go back to my blog and I'm going to add their URL by pasting it into this URL box and then you'll notice that the text to display box also shows up with the same thing but if you just click in that left click three times that will highlight it and you can um, erase it by just hitting delete or you can just go ahead and type what you want to type and I'm going to put in gecko gals because that's what I want the text to show but when they click on it they'll go to the gecko gals website so there's one Gecko Gals, and um, also whenever you're done doing a link, uh, you'll have to go back and change the size of your text because it always goes to small. And I'm going to add another one. I'm going to go to Link, go to the Graphics Fairy. You'll see that's already highlighted, but if I left click three times, I can copy the URL and I can go back to my blog. I can paste and again I'm gonna change the text up here by left clicking three times and just typing in um, graphics fairy okay Gosh. and I have got one more and this is somebody I just found um, in Flickr uh, Aunt Owie she's got a cute little story about how she got her name um, so I'm going to left click three times to highlight that her URL. I'm going to copy and whoops, go back to my blog, add a link, put her URL in here. Left click three times to get rid of this and put Aunt Owie Flickr Photo Stream. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to have to fix my font or my text so it's large. Here is my creation below. Now I'm going to insert an image, choose file, and I've got her all ready already. And add selected. Ooh. So, okay. Ooh. The wonderful red barn wood came from 
aunt, aunt, Eloise. Apostrophe. I guess I should look before I'm doing this. Photo stream. And I was happy to see that she too was from Michigan, which is kind of funny. I did all this work on this um, digital collage last night, and then I find out that the person who I'm using her photo, um, which, you know, everybody has their own different copyright rules, so you have to read what people post, um, and it said that I could use it. Um, and here she lived in Michigan, which I thought was cool, because my friend lives in Michigan, and probably not all that far from where she lives, from Michigan too, period. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead now and preview this. So I'm going to scroll down and preview and see how this looks. Hello friends, welcome to my blog. I'll go back up and um, change that, but this looks pretty good. So the green is showing the text that I want to show, but as soon as someone clicks on them, it will take them to where they need to go to see what I have used. All right, so I think that'll be it for this post or this tutorial. Um, I hope it helps some of you gals out. Oh, and guys, whoever's watching, thanks and have a great day. Bye.